Tonight is a championship game in the NCAA men's basketball tournament. And for the fourth time in five tournaments, a Catholic school has reached the final. Undefeated Gonzaga University, a Jesuit university in Washington State, faces Baylor. Gonzaga is trying to win the first NCAA basketball title in school history, but the Zags would not be the first Catholic school to win one since the 1960s. Villanova, Georgetown, Marquette, and Loyola Chicago have all won titles. Joining us now is John Gassaway, author of Miracles on the Hardwood, The Hope, and a prayer story of a winning tradition in Catholic college basketball. John, great to be with you. Thanks so much for joining us. So why do you think that Catholic colleges have done so well in basketball? They have had a remarkable run of always having just enough teams at the very top to break through continuously over decades. That doesn't mean that every Catholic uh, program is good. There are some Catholic programs that uh, haven't had much success at all. But if you look across time, whether it's, you know, San Francisco in the 50s, St. John's in the 40s even, and then going forward to today with the, the great runs that both Villanova and, of course, Gonzaga are having, there's always a, there's always a team that uh, is at the front of that pack and uh, waving the Catholic flag. It's It's been a, a distinct trend for decades. What do you think it is about the sport, specifically basketball, uh, where they tend to be so strong as maybe opposed to, say, something like football or hockey? They, uh, they being the Catholic programs, they throw numbers at, at basketball that they just don't and can't have in football. Really, at the top level of football, you're, you're talking about Notre Dame and Boston College, and that's about it. But basketball, uh, every Catholic institution plays basketball. Uh, it's almost literally true. Not every one of them are Division I, of course, but uh, many are. And uh, a, a very high number of Jesuit programs in particular not only play basketball, but Division I basketball. So they have a, a high degree of visibility. And again, just enough of those programs are, are elite at any given time, whether you're talking about Georgetown in the 80s or, or other programs today, that uh, people do associate uh, the Catholic colleges with basketball in particular. Yeah, and, and it's not really just colleges. It seems also Catholic high schools also have strong basketball programs as well. Can you talk a little bit more about that? They do, and it even goes down further than the high schools to uh, to CYO organizations. And one thing uh, referenced in the book is is how those got started. But uh, there's a there's a long tradition of you know Catholic facilities, uh, CYOs, and Catholic high schools. You know. Uh, grooming the basketball talent, and sometimes that acts as a feeder system, and there's good news stories there, but sometimes it doesn't work out so well, <laughs> and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, to, to cite one example, uh, grew up amidst that uh, environment, and of course, famously, he went to UCLA. He wanted uh, to get as far away from his native New York City as possible, so it's not always just a lock-in system, but in general, worked to the benefit of Catholic colleges. Well, uh, before we let you go, I want to get this last question in. Uh, four Catholic schools, as we know, meant, made the NCAA round of the 16 of 16 this year. Do you think this is a trend uh, that will continue? Yes, I do. It's uh, it's a phenomenon where we've seen uh, Catholic schools be consistently uh, good and better than good, great recently. So whether you're talking about programs like Gonzaga, uh, Villanova, the, these are teams that are consistently strong, and uh, they carry the flag for a tradition of college basketball that goes way back at Catholic institutions. So I do expect it to continue, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how correct that prediction turns out to be. But the past gives us some justification to expect that. Now, John, thank you so much for your time today. It was great speaking with you. John Gasway, author of Miracles on the Hardwood, the hope and a prayer story of a winning tradition in Catholic college basketball. Thanks again. Thanks for having me.